Hello, um, I'm Tim Dennis, and I'm the, the director of the Library Data Science Center. I'm joined on this presentation by Jiwan Yao, who's our spatial data science librarian at UCLA. I'm here, we're here to update you on an exciting project we have going that is developing lessons for librarians on open science. So what is open science? The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, defines open science as a movement and a set of practices aiming to make scientific knowledge openly available, accessible and reusable for everyone. And this to increase the scientific collaborations and sharing of information for the benefit of society and science. It comprises all scientific disciplines, including basic and applied sciences, natural and social sciences, and the humanities. And it builds on uh, key areas, which include open science knowledge, open science infrastructures, science communication, open engagement, and open dialogue. UNESCO, uh, UNESCO's recommendations on open science was recently unanimously adopted by all 193 UNESCO member states, which includes us, the US. Uh, in parallel, uh, in the US, the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine formed a roundtable on aligning incentives for open science in 2019 and published a toolkit for fostering open science. NASA is also engaged in an initiative to transform to open science called NASA TOPS and has designated 2023 as the year of open science. There's also been extensive work on advocating and promoting better data practices via uh, FAIR and CARE data principles, and which are focused on making data more accessible uh, machine readable and discoverable. And even more recently in August, the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy is mandating open access for federally funded research, in, including the data that's involved in that research. Related to this, funders like NIH and NSF are increasingly requiring more open and transparent research practices as a condition of funding. Despite all this recent recognition and activity around open science and requirements for open science, the practices themselves remain highly fragmented and the awareness low. Um, for instance, library training on open science is inefficiently addressed in the formal library school curriculum. And there is an integrated, targeted, and reusable curriculum does not exist currently. While recent efforts in libraries have focused on research data management, um, data science, and even looked at the intersection of scholarly communication and information literacy, a holistic approach to open science training is needed to respond to these uh, national and international activities, requirements, and calls. To address this gap in librarianship educational opportunities, we proposed and received an IMLS award to incentivize the development of open science curriculum. We believe that librarians and information professionals, information professionals are essential educators and collaborators within the research life cycle. And then we also further believe that it will be critical to ensuring the practice of open science is promoted and supported um, as it evolves. We have this project will develop, implement, and refine a reusable curriculum to ensure library information and information professionals have the skills to participate in open science engaged research life cycle.
So the project really aims to support uh, skills development of, for librarians in the open science space. And we think this will enable them to be more effective as they can provide new researchers instructions on some of the basic practices in open science. And we think it'll further lead them to effectively collaborate with faculty and researchers in science projects using these open science pra practices that will develop a curriculum on. We're gonna explicitly use the, an evidence-based lesson design process employed by the Carpentries, which is a global community of over 2,800 volunteer instructors that have delivered over 2,700 workshops in 71 different countries. And this design process uh, foregrounds, foregrounds, foregrounds learner objectives and focuses on lesson design um, that focus that uses authentic tasks to avoid kind of the cognitive overload that often gets in the way of learning. We anticipate adding these lessons that are developed through this project to the existing library carpentry lesson program that's part of the carpentries. And with that, I'll turn it over to Chi Wan. We are here to call for proposals for license for libraries in open science principles and methods. This project will last from 2022 to 2024. I will go for 2022 to 2023 academic year is to have seven lessons developed. And I will go for 2023 to 2024 academic year is to have another seven lessons developed. These lessons will be open access, free for reuse, and remixing. We also prefer to developing the lessons following Carpentry's lesson style. If you never heard about Carpentry lesson style, no worries. We will show you what the lesson style looks like in some following slides. We will support you all along the way. The proposal should be no more than two pages in length with size as 12, the font as area, and the species as 1.5. The proposal should have these components, the lesson topic or the lesson title, uh, three to four keywords, you know, one to two paragraphs about the learner profile, and the introduction about why what you propose is important. The introduction is 400 words in max. The rest of the proposal is about the lesson uh, in terms of the lesson topic, the lesson length, the structure, and the content. Regarding the lesson topics, we provide some suggestions here, but uh, these topics are not limited to these. So new ideas are always welcomed. Deadline and submission. The deadline for submitting a proposal is January 31st, 2023. If you are interested in submitting a proposal, you can scan the QR code here or click the link here. This will direct you to our website where you can submit a proposal. Thank you, Jiwan, for that information on the call for proposal and the submission deadline. I'll go over a bit about the lesson selection and kind of how we plan to implement things. We're going to form a committee of nine uh, researchers, librarians, and open science experts. And then we'll engage with them to develop a rubric for evaluating lessons that are submitted. And then the committee will select seven lesson proposals in both 2023 and 2024 for further development. The winning lessons will get a $5,000 reward to fully develop the lessons. We're gonna use the Carpentries uh, lesson style or carpentry style lesson. And we chose this primarily because it's well thought out, it's research-based, it's structured in a way that let us chunk up the lessons to be more digestible. And, um, and, and, and it's also like available for us in a kind of free platform. There's also a handbook on how to go about doing this, it's well thought out. 
And we also have a, a lesson that's in the part of the carpentry zoo that teaches you how to develop lessons. So we'll utilize that in the summer seminars. And speaking of the summer seminars, we'll have two, one in 2023 and one in 2024. And we'll utilize this Carpentries Collaborative Lesson Development Training to help support and train lesson authors on how to set up the lesson in, in the carpentry style. We also have um, money from the grant to hire a student who can technically help uh, lesson authors with all of these tasks that will be fully engaged in doing this. The goal is to produce high quality open lessons that we can then incorporate into the library carpentry curriculum. And with that, I think we're done. Um, if you need more information, there's a QR code that will lead to our website that we're developing for this project. And or you can send an email to us at this following email, uh, Jiwan or I will, will respond to that. And with that, we hope that you encourage um, people you know in your libraries or institutions to make proposals, um, submit them so that they can uh, contribute to uh, a curricula for librarians on open science. Thank you so much. <laughs>